Hey lovelies, okay, this is going to be a playlist or series of videos that involve different ways on using the Silly Sponge. Now, last week, um, the Silly Sponge was gracious enough to send me their um, new Silly Sponge Gold Edition. And over the weekend, I had been playing around with it, testing out different ways on how it will work. And one, one of the things that I absolutely realized was that if you are a beauty sponge or beauty blender devotee and love the finish that it gives you, you are not going to be a fan of this. Just keeping it real on that one. You are not going to be a fan of this. And the reason why I say this is because, for one, it takes a lot longer to smooth out and get a even quote unquote kind of poreless seamless finish and I have to be honest you really don't get that same kind of streamlined you know great finish that you do get with a beauty sponge okay so that I am just being honest with with you on that one you know because like with me I don't care if a company sends me something for free or even if they're paying me if they want me to give my honest opinion about it I'm gonna say it okay and if they just want me to show how it how it works you know if they pay me just to you know introduce the product and show me how it, how it works I'll do that but if people ask me what my honest opinion about it is I will give that I'm not going to lie to people for that, I got my own issues that I got to deal with that'll probably send me to hell. <laughs> I'm not going to do it over something petty like lying about how a product works or how it works for me, I should say. Because other people, probably even a makeup, probably a makeup artist, might be able to get the same results and get, you know, that you use, get with a beauty sponge that and can get the same results with this. I'm a regular person they're gonna be relying on regular people like me to buy this so I have to give my honest opinion because see we regular folk we don't know all them professional techniques you know we watch YouTube videos to try and get those from those professionals but we don't know them all and sometimes we can't duplicate those so like I said maybe a mula can kind of get the same results that they came with a beauty sponge I can't but I have found that there are other ways that you can utilize this that even if you I'm gonna say even if you prefer the beauty sponge you might still like this better for certain things now with that said you can apply your foundation with this you can apply your concealer products with this and get a decent finish it's not going to be the flawless finish that we see on Instagram and all that and that people show in videos it's just not going to be that okay but it can be something that's passable now we'll say with the amount of time that it takes this isn't something that you use every day either like if you got to go to work and you allot out 30 minutes to do your makeup you'll spend that 30 minutes just applying your foundation and that's all you're going to walk out with on your face is that foundation. And you're going to be struggling to try to put on foundation and put on make mascara and everything while you're driving. That's not cool. So don't use this for every day. Use this if you're going to, you know, on a date or just a weekend thing where you actually have time to apply your makeup. Now, you might think, well, why would I want to use this if it takes so much more time? Well... I would say for me because I will continue to use this and the reason why is because there are days when I do my makeup where you know I don't need it to be that spot-on flawless beat to the gods look you know but you know and I don't mind if it takes a little bit longer 
But what I don't want to have to do is deal with cleaning out that darn beauty sponge. And if you're like me, you don't really want to deal with cleaning it out. And also, I'm bedridden. I can't go to a sink and, like, <laughs> squeeze it out and do it. It takes me a long time to clean it. So for me, <laughs> that is a very big upside to this, is that it's easy to clean. Okay, so... If you're the type that you really hate cleaning your makeup brushes and sponges and you want something that's going to be quick to clean, you clean then use this. Now, another thing I will say is that you absolutely need to have the best canvas that you could put forward before you use this product. Meaning that it doesn't mean that you have to have clear blemish free skin but what it does mean is that the texture of your skin has to be pretty much on point so you have to make sure that you keep your face exfoliated if you're doing like a manual exfoliation you know if you can't handle it every day or every other day make sure you do it you know at least every three days Okay, if you're going to be using this product frequently. If you're not going to be using, using this pro product frequently, then make sure the day that you do use it, you exfoliate your face because your skin is going to have to be smooth. It can't have any dead skin, on, dead skin layers on top or anything of that nature. Now with me, I manually exfoliate about, I'll say two to three times a week. And I do a... Um, do a peel once a week. Now, today when I did this was the morning that I did my flash peel. You know, so my skin was bam smooth. You know, so everything would go on without any big hiccups. Now, if you have dry skin that's prone to flaking or you have or having like an eczema flare up, then you're not gonna like the way that your skin looks with this because what this does is that when you even with patting it or or smoothing over all it's doing is smoothing over your skin surface which is why i say you know you need to exfoliate because any line crack bump dry patch of skin when you slide the foundation over with this it's going to catch in those areas and you're going to have those deposits of foundation there and that's not going to look good and this product does not easily pick those up because it's meant to kind of minimize waste. So it's not going to pick up product the way that a sponge will. You know, if you use if you use a beauty sponge, you know, you can go in there and dab and it will pick up, you know, a good deal of that excess. This is not going to do that. It picks up the minimum. So you can't rely on it to do that for you. Okay? And... It doesn't pick up paper, I mean not paper, powder. So you can't use this to apply, you know, powder in your under eye area on the areas where you like highlight or anything like this. It's not going to do the job well for you. It can pick up some powder, but it's smooth. Well, I mean, what's the powder going to cling to, really? You know, you can wet it, but then you try that, that powder's kicked on air. So what you're going to get are clumps of powder on your face. That's not a good look. Not for anybody. You know, unless you're a Merlin, you know, I don't think <laughs> you're going to be able to correct that easily. Okay, but I have found that it's good for applying a lot of cream-based products. Now, queen and liquid-based products besides foundation. And in the series of videos that I'm going to be posting, you know, throughout the week, what you're going to see is, and I did all these in one day, so you're going to see me wearing the same shirt and having a, the same do-rag on my head. But what you're going to um, see is that, see is me using it to apply, you know, con spot concealing, you know, for large areas. You're going to um, see how I use it to apply, you know, cream or creamy contour, you know, and even, you know, some foundation, you know, the use for contour you know, on my face, you know, for if you're looking for a more natural contour look and also see how it works for 
creamy blushes. You know, they could be used to do that and for hot and for um, cream or liquid highlighters. You know, see how I, how I use it for that. And it does well with those. I could tell you that right now. It does do well with those. Powders, like I said, yeah, you're not going to get that. You're not going to be able to do well with that. So this is really strictly going to do you well for creams and liquids. So keep that in mind. Okay, so the best thing that I could um, say for you is that, as the takeaways is that, Make sure you're starting off with a um, smooth canvas, a smooth canvas that is moisturized and primed. So you, ex as well as exfoliating, you're going to have to moisturize your skin and use a good primer. Okay, so that when it glides over certain areas, it's not going to pack the product in it, or at least not that much. You're also going to have to, you know, forget about using it for powders. It's not going to do well with powders. It does best on small areas okay so if you're doing like spot concealing it does a good job with that and with me you'll see in some of the videos I just dipped it right into the pan and went in and it still worked well for me and you know you can use it for cream contours and for cream blushes you know it does well even in spaces like around your nose and stuff and you can manipulate it you know like you do with a beauty sponge, you know, you can fold it, you know, and go over ways, and there's also, you can even make use of the little flexible, you know, plastic edging around that, okay, you know, it might look like that's just there for whatever, but you can make use of that for some, some of those tighter areas, like I got this wide, flat nose, I use that to clean up in between there, you know, around there, you can do that with this. Okay, and another thing is that every time you use this on an area, after you do your first use of it, you need to wipe it. Because if you don't wipe it and you go back in, you're not going to do anything but apply that residue on there and it's going to get cakey and patchy. So as soon as you apply that first layer and start patting, pat for a few seconds, wipe off, then go back and pat again, wipe off, go back and pat again. So when it comes to when you come back, you know, looking at it, all you see is kind of like a cloudy blur. You're not seeing any like bits of product on there, you know, or spots of product. You're just going to see a blur. So keep that in mind. It does take work and it will take practice. So if you buy, so if you buy, you're going to have to practice with it. Now we'll say that if you have perfect skin, you probably won't have any issues with this. But I'm 39, so I got aging skin. I have adult acne, I do have eczema flare-ups, and I have hyperpigmentation. So I got four major skin issues <laughs> that I'm dealing with. So it's going to take some work. But it also takes a little bit of work sometimes with the beauty sponge to learn how to manipulate it to handle, you know, the skin issues that, that I have to deal with personally. So is this worth the buy? It depends on what you need. I'm not going to say yay for you. I'm not going to say nay for you. Me, you know, I would still get it. You know, and I'm not even saying that you got to get this brand. Even though I was sent this one, I do have an affiliate code for it, you know, where it's on sale. But if you can find something for a dollar, because I'm always about finding cheap, you know. If you can find it for a, job, for a dollar, go get that dollar one, you know. <laughs> Because I'm not about somebody going out there and being broke, you know, just for trying to look good. You know, I'm not, no, don't go broke for that. But if you actually want the silly sponge, I do have a, have, um, a link, that I, affiliate link, you know, that I'll put in the description box for each video that you see along with the um, coupon code for 15% off your order. Okay, now that code I think is a limited time code, so I do not know how long that that code will be active for. Okay, so if it doesn't work for you, it may have expired. Alright, so I'm just putting that one out there. But the last time I checked on the site, I think this cost, it was on sale at a deep discount. So, it did for, so... As of yesterday, this was very, very affordable. Yesterday, um, March 20th, this was very, very affordable. And 
they don't just sell this they actually do sell actual beauty sponge too so which is also affordable i think it's under ten dollars itself so you get so if you get that along with this actually your application needs will probably be good you know with this so they don't just leave you hanging you know thinking that oh gosh i wish i had my sponge you can still get a sponge from them if you want to okay but that's about all that i have to say on this so i'll let you guys get on to the rest of the videos which you know to, not all of them are going to be <laughs> out there this is going to be a playlist so you know once you get finished this one there'll be another one that'll follow you know okay and i'll catch you guys later bye